Hi, I'm back. Recently, I've been trying out geometry nodes. So let's make a glitch effect. First, you open geometry nodes editor and add a new geometry node setup. So the first thing we want to do is add a mesh to curve. Mesh to curve and drop it on the connection. So now you see a wireframe. This basically just places a curve handle at every vertex right there. So the second thing we want to do is curve to points. And we see these points along the curve. We can change the amount of points. So with two points you see a point on every vertex. We can drag this count to the group input. So when we go to modifier properties, we can change it here. Then we want to add a point to vertices node. So this basically just gives us the vertices instead of the edges. And now when we do this, we get a lot more vertices. It's basically subdividing the mesh. So now we want to add a extrude mesh. Place it here. And set it to vertices. So now you see these vertices are getting extruded. And we can change the offset here. Just uh, click this and drag off and search for a combine XYZ. Now, when we change this Z value, it moves up. And when we change the Y along the Y, change the X along the X. So now we want to add a random value node. So we can, uh, yeah, just get a random value. Connect it to all of these because we want to um, change every single vertice differently like this and we can change this seed we can plug this seed into here and let me remove this one so now in this uh, modifier node we can change the seed and it will it will kind of like jitter i want to add a vector rotate no node now place it right there and then we can change the angle. So when we are looking at it from a different angle, we can rotate it so it matches our camera view. Set this to minus one. So we get uh, both sides. Okay, so next we plug the offside scale into a divide node, which is also a math node. You can't find divide here. You have to search for math. Set this to one and plug this value into here. So now we can change the length. So next, another extrude mesh. This time set this to edges. We get this. And I want the offset to be a combine XYZ. And basically just do the same thing. And the last thing we want to do is a joint geometry node, a joint geometry node here. And then we grab this geometry and put it into here. So you have the original mesh. And if you would like a set material node, so you can set the material here and you can also put this in the group input. So you can change it here. And that's it. If you want this geometry node setup, you can look on my Gumroad. I have it linked there. Uh, so yeah, bye. Like and sub.